Well, good evening. Hi, y'all. If any of y'all are out there, we are hooked up and ready to go here. Dina is making us some coffee. Whoops, I just shut off what my, some of my information. Dina's making us some coffee, and we, uh, we've we had a long, long day. Uh, we've done an event this morning, and we went to Elmore City, Oklahoma. So if you don't know, the movie Footloose was based off of Elmore City, Oklahoma, which is only how far? 30 something miles from our house. I really didn't know Elmore City was where Footloose happened. The event actually happened. The band dancing and music and all that. But that is uh, that is where it's at. And we did the Footloose Festival today with our candy. It was a... Hi, Corey. Yeah, hello. Hello, little sister. Uh, the event was good. It was cold and raining. We did we did good. There was a lot of people come out, more than I thought. Uh, it was in the 50s and raining, and there was kids running around no shoes. <laughs> It was a, uh, it was quite a day. Who was that? Hi, Heartland HQ. Yeah, Dink and hey. Tank. How are you, Dink and Tank? Dink and Tank. Thank you for all the comments you give us on our, on our little videos and and uh, shorts. Sorry, I'm trying to clean my glasses so I can read the messages there. I can read them to you. <laughs> I can't see. You can just good. sit there without your glasses. I'll read them to you. Just sit here and look pretty. Yeah. You do that anyway. That's struggle. I'll struggle doing that. No. Nah. So Heartland HQ. Tell us tell us where you're from, Heartland. I see my sister is above you in the comments. She's from Duncan, Oklahoma. What's it say? Dink is David. Tank is Tamara. Thank you. David all for joining and Tamara. Us. We appreciate your support. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. So Heartland AQ, HQ, is that your channel? Do you have a channel? Because I want to support you if you do. That's the best thing you can do. Joplin. Joplin. All right. You're not too far from us. Hi, Clyde. Hey, Clyde. I'm going to grab some coffee. Yeah. I wish you was here to have a cup of coffee with us, Clyde. So Clyde's probably tired of us. We spent most of the day running around with him yesterday. Rainy Ridge, hello. How are you? Uh, Clyde is from Bray slash Marlowe, Oklahoma. Rainy Ridge, can you tell everybody where you're from? South of Joplin, too. Well, we're really glad y'all are here. David is a country boy. His point buffer. All right, so that is Heartland HQ is... You got a mosquito on the middle of your forehead. Ooh. Y'all supposed to tell me that. I got a bloody spot on my forehead. Big old mosquito got us. Got me. Um, so Rainy Ridge is from Joplin Pineville. area, south of Joplin too. Pine, what does that say? Pineville, Pineville. Missouri. Well, thank y'all for joining tonight. Yeah, and y'all live in a beautiful part of the country. I think... That uh, Money Pit Homestead is going to join us, and we're going to try to bring him on with us. He's never gone live, and I want him to just, he's hes a great guy. His name's Donald, and they're, they're out of Kentucky. Sorry if my beard's messed up. You're fine. But we've got a, we've got a few people on here, hoping to get a few bit, a few more, but. We uh we wouldn't mind bringing you guys on at time too. This is David. That David he is Tamer. a country boy in his paint buffer. What's that mean? His. I do I do too, sis. Missouri is a beautiful place. It is. The only thing I don't like about it is the storms, but Oklahoma has those storms too. I don't like. I the wish storms. we had the trees and the hills here. Yeah. We got some rolling hills. They're not too bad, but. <laughs> 
we're wide open where we sit, so we got nothing but barbed wire to try to slow the wind down. And it's like me trying to spike my hair. It just don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a few announcements. I got a riddle tonight again. What was your riddle last week? Um, what was my riddle oh, last week? You gave your answer in your riddle. Yeah, last I did. Week. It was something about I'm where the corn grows, I'm where the farmer to farmer toils. I don't remember, but the answer was it's a homestead. We're almost. Well, I can't read it. We're on Rainy Ridge says we're almost to Arkansas and about twenty miles to Oklahoma. Well, you're well positioned. Positioned. Yep. Well, I can't talk. There's tonight. Money Pit. Hi, Money Pit. Hey, Money Pit. Donald, let's try this. Joining us. Um, that's that's who I was telling you guys. Okay, tell us what Heart, Heartland says. Heartland there. says we are good. Oldest son got released from hospital today. Worked in garden beds. Granddaughter went home. Chilling now. That is awesome news. Glad he got to go home from the hospital. Well, look here. We're going to put some more prayers up that everything continues to go the right way and healing continues. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing we can do for any of you guys or if we need it, you guys for us. Glad to hear he, he got, got released. Me. Absolutely. So do y'all know each other, Heartland and Rainy Ridge? Sure they do. Or they wouldn't be telling each other hi. Right. I guess so. <laughs> I'm not real smart. So uh, Corey's praying. Yep, she's good. Yeah, thanks, too. Corey. Pray too. She's she's a uh, pretty good at that. Um, back to Money Pit. Money Pit. If you'll scroll all the way to the top, the very first comment is the link to come on live with us. Now, if I need to, I think there's some uh, instructions I can put in there. Just let me know, because I really don't know. Reef robber. He just kind of walked it. us through it last yeah. week. You're going to have to keep up. Oh, they know read. through YouTube. Not not going to get to meet soon. That's that's always fun. Well, I'm I'm embarrassed to ask this, but have we met either one of y'all at like the Oki Homesteading Expo? Because that's not too far from y'all's neighborhood. We've chatted with Rainy Ridge. Before. I know we've talked to him yeah. online before. Mm -hmm. And and Dink and Tank, I've seen yeah. lots and lots of comments from you guys. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I'd seen the Heartland HQ, but I'm definitely going to go and uh, subscribe. Let me get my phone. And I can do that too. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you a couple more subscribers. No, I've never got to go before before to any so there's another one coming up i want to say dina told me the 27th of this month or something like that let me see if i can find it right quick the one that was in oklahoma that yeah <clears throat> um it was in a place called Tallulah. They say no, but have seen you on other videos, others videos, videos from the expo. Well, we, we're we glad that y'all are here. Yeah. We got eight watching. Everybody that's in, tell us, tell us who you are and where you're from, if you don't mind. So this uh, Talala, Talala, I guess is the way you'd say it. T-A-L-A-L-A, -A -L -A, Oklahoma. <clears throat> it's not all that far from prior and it, I think it's on the Ogallala Lake Ogallala Lake <clears throat> I'm trying to confirm some of it's Rainy not too Ridge. far it's not too far from the Ogallala Lake I subscribed Rainy Ridge and let's see here uh, let's see it's on highway US highway 1 69 north of Catoosa, so it's not too far out of Tulsa. And I don't, do you remember the name of it? No, I don't. I, I don't even know how. Is it Facebook? Uh, yeah, I think it showed up on the Facebook feed today. Let me see if I can, I'm going to take a picture of my notes I got here that I saved on Facebook. 
You know, see if I can look it up. Hey, congratulations, Heartland HQ. You guys are 1.5, 1 1.55 actually, subscribers. That's good. Yeah, good we've gained job. a few this week. It's been it's been a good week. We had one day where I got 8,000 views. It's almost 9,000 now on one video. And uh, Reef Robert talked about that last week. He said, it just takes one video. But it was something simple, y'all. So I started doing it every day. I just did a redneck weather report, what I called it. I basically stepped outside in our front yard. It was windy and I told the temperature and how windy it was and how it felt and said, y'all have a good day. And it's, it took off. It was 15 seconds. So reef robber was absolutely right. We got like 15 subscribers off of that. And that may not sound like a lot. When you're little, it's a lot. When, when you're small, it's a lot. It 15 is 15 subscribers in one day plus 8,000 views yep. on one. Go ahead. Thank you, Rainy Ridge for the sub. Um, I have my own channel too, and I, I'm not busy on my channel. And you type it in there. Um, I probably should have waited to do my channel because we're always busy doing something else. But and um, mine is, I'll type it in the comment. But it's Life on Dyer Family Farm. And I do some quilting, some cooking. Um, just some different videos that I don't put on Jack's channel. We were just one channel. Oh, good. 10,000. He got, they got t two shorts in the last week with over 10,000 views. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to go check them out. What were they about, Rainy? I'm still trying to find this homestead. Sorry, I should have thought about this ahead of time. Whoops. Check it right there. Homesteading in Oklahoma. Right there. Yeah. Nine plus new. And then scroll. Pigs. I don't know. Let me see if I can just put Kalala in with homestead. See what happens right there it is oklahoma gardening community yep they're just calling it homestead expo it's uh in talala oklahoma just north of ogallala ogala on april the 27th topics we're looking for is cultivating seeds greenhouses predator proofing livestock planting meals According to the seasonal food, cooking with cast iron skillets, make your own smokehouse, worm composting, which y'all ever tried worm composting? We tried that once. Uh, I'm not saying it wasn't good, and I thought it was pretty good. That's, I gave Dina. I got worms for my birthday. Yeah, how many? <laughs> two or three hundred worms for her birthday. I thought it was pretty cool. It's okay. Gift, but. They actually, we wound up after we had kept them in, in a tote i guess that's what you'd call that thing uh yeah. for a little bit and they multiplied and then we we finally just put all of it in uh my herb bed where my lavender is and and some flowers so that bed tends to be doing well because of the worm cast ca casting casings whatever yeah it, you call it did it, but it did do good Warm if I can keep my chickens out of it, we really don't let our chickens free range anymore because they make a mess out of the garden and the flower beds and the porch. Okay, so. guys, I don't know. I'm going to get Dina to top this in. This this expo is, uh, you have what did to, I say, I April 27th? Square up with the, what's it called? Homestead? It is called Homestead Expo. And it's in Talala. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Here's the address. 4012. 4012. South U.S. Highway 169. And it's on what day? April the 27th. 
2024. Oh, there's a pastor there. Yeah, a pastor Cletus so, something, but I'm not. And it's nine to four, so it's a short day. Yeah, it's just a one day event. 88 going, 553 interested. I, what do we got going to April the 27th? That's close to you guys up there, Rainy Ridge and Heartland. That's not a, that, that's closer to y'all than it is us. I guess I hit in ready to go. Um, Let's see, April. That's just next weekend. That's next Saturday. We have a YouTube live broadcast, and that's it. I don't know if we can make it or not, but we might could. We sure might try. Yeah, that'd be interesting. It'd be fun. I think anything homesteading where you could put yourself out there to meet new people. And um, learn new things is always no, good. No, um, Heartland, what day was oh, that? Oh, that's 10 Killer Weekend? We should do 10 Killer instead of that. Absolutely. Is it the same weekend? It is. They're, they're saying it is. Rainy Ridge. What's that called? Are y'all going to that? It's the meetup. It's, uh, it's the one MT Homestead, Mike and Terry over there talking about. Yeah, I think, yeah, it is. It is the same weekend they're saying. I think I'd rather go to the to the uh, homestead if we can break away for a day. Are you guys going to that? Oh, Rainy says, "Yep, they're going to the to the meet." We need to do that too, Have so we got, can meet you guys. Face how are we going to be able to identify you? You see our shirt? Let me lean the right way. This is the only YouTube shirt we got, and I've got it on because we were doing that event today at the Footloose Festival in Elmore City. So we'll try to wear something that identifies us. How would we know you? I'd say we'd be the one with the camera, but I bet we're not the only one with the camera there. And our camera looks like a cell phone because it is. Uh, is that a one? I, I need to know more uh, That's an overnight about that. deal. That Let me is see. an overnight yeah. deal? Yeah. Let me see if I can look that up while you guys keep, keep telling them how pretty you are, Dina. Oh, we got a little bit of wind burnt today. Yeah, My I'm red. Face is red. Got a little Didn't bit realize of... it, but it was fun. They call that the 10 killer meetup, I believe, right? Killer Queen Jacksonville. I didn't find nothing on Facebook about it. Let me go to M MT Homestead and see if I can find something. Anybody got any information they can pop up there for us? We got 10 in here. Everybody tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, 10 Killer, where am I going? I'm going right here. YouTube. I'm doing laundry again tonight. Sorry. If it's too loud, y'all please let me know. I'll stop it. I can't hear it. I just turned one of my hearing aids off. Seems uh, like Saturday nights is the only night I have to do laundry. Do we need to get MT on here? MT's not on yet. We were he's got a live oh, every Wednesday. No, that's uh yeah, Money Pit was here. Oh, Money Pit. Okay. Donald. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. They can't sir. hear my laundry. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Two, oh, ten Killer two, YouTube four. says, yeah, Ten Killer YouTube. It's yeah. all gravy. I don't know. They're doing the floss or something, but I think it was at the <laughs> meetup. Um,. It's Tin Killer on YouTube. That's that's the name. Okay, I got it right here. Cherokee. That's Gillum Farms. Put that up. Y'all check them out too. Tin Killer Cherokee YouTube Lane. meetup. Pretty cool little thing. I don't want to do that. We can watch that after. I wasn't trying to watch it. I was trying to get some information. All right, found it. The Tin Killer oh, YouTube it's a three -day meetup. Deal, 26, yeah. 27, 28. I bet we make it for the 27th. I don't know. We're off on the 26th, but getting away that that close to now, which is next weekend, without already having plans for our animals, and we've got 
How many chickens did we get this week? Well, we did some crazy <laughs> chicken math this week. We did some chicken math. Um, yeah, baby, oh, baby wow. chicks are just too cute to say no. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a meeting that Friday, so probably the twenty seventh be the only day we could make it. I didn't tell you when I was out checking those baby chicks earlier. So we use a warming plate for those baby chicks. And some of those that we bought yesterday are literally maybe two inches tall, inch and a half. They're day old. Yeah, literally, they, they don't have any little bitty pin feathers coming in at all. There's just, they just oh, there we go. There's, I see you on there, Money Pit. I'm going to bring you in now. They're just fluff. And uh, they were on top of that heat plate. That one was on top of the heat plate. Donald, I think you're live. Nope, no I can't mic. hear you. You got a microphone muted. Yeah, something. everything's working. Can you hear me? Yep. Got you now. So y'all welcome Donald. This is from Money Pit. And I and I think he'd be a I can hear you. good. I think Donald be a natural at this, but he's never done a live, so I wanted to nope. invite him here. We've had some good conversations in the past. I said no, and it, yeah, Clyde tried <laughs> to stop us from buying chickens, but we got over 80 chickens in the mail Tuesday. I bought chickens. When did I buy the first 10? A couple of weeks. A couple of days before that. Yeah. Like maybe last Sunday or something. Yeah. I don't remember. You were at your mom and dad's. It might have been Monday. I bought those. It chicks. was Monday because my then, dad had surgery. And then we bought like 16 chicks last night. So we got about 140 chickens on the farm right now. Don't tell us about yourself. I seem to have a, I got a bleed back there. Uh, well, uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> Tell us about Money Pit Homestead. Where are you from? I know where you're from. Well, we got uh, where you live in Central Kentucky, and we're um, we're. Yeah, you don't get tongue tied babies here. I'm getting. Uh, wonder you're if getting... I'm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, so I ain't getting tongue tied. I just I keep hearing myself talk. <laughs> That can throw uh, you. But, uh, I'm, we, I've uh, had some of my favorite conversations with myself. Well, <laughs> I've had a lot of my favorite conversations with myself. Right. Uh, but anyway, we uh, we try to do homesteading. We cut firewood. We uh, um, what gardening? What? You hear, hear what it's doing? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like it's a delay. Yeah, it's is Lisa of, in there with you? Talk here. Is Lisa in there with you? I heard well, she, she, well, she's trying to back and forth to see what how we're doing. We need to get her in yeah. the picture. She she makes you look better. Always. <laughs> I always I, I I overmarried like ten times. I did too. I married up for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, what are you talking about Saturday, little sister? Chickens, I think she was talking oh, about Saturday. Oh, yeah, probably. She... See you yeah. I can hear Lisa. Are you guys only on your computer? You might. Yeah, we're trying this on a laptop. I couldn't get it to do on the iPad. Yeah. So we're on our laptop, but can you turn your speakers down maybe? I don't know. I think I heard Reef Robber say something about that the other day. Oh, well, okay. Let me try that. But then I hope you can still hear me if you do that. Let's see. Where in the world is the speaker on this? This is a new laptop. I don't know where everything's at. That's okay. I know on my speaker, it's down on the screen on the in the right-hand bottom corner yeah, and usually that's, that's um uh, or the volume so 
So we were announcing while he's looking for that, we were announcing some, some homesteading events and that I think we will go to that meetup next Saturday. I'd like to go. Actually, they said that the 27th is the main big event, drawings, prizes, door prizes. Thank you for that, Heartland. Now, I said Rainy Ridge was going to be there. Is Heartland going? Did they say? Donald, you coming? He's still looking. Is that uh, nowhere? Ten Killer. Ten Killer. The YouTube meetup. No, I don't reckon. It's a long way to come. That is pretty Kentucky. good ways from Kentucky. Yeah. We had a long trip. It was almost 10 hours to Oakley. Yeah. So we, that's, a, that's a, just right at four for us to get to the Oki. And uh, the one, now I'm going to make a couple announcements here. So first off, if there's anybody on here that has a channel, and you hadn't subbed to them, y'all go ahead and sub that sub to them. But there's one coming up. It's called Oklahoma Homestead Rendezvous. You can find them on Facebook. September the 27th and 28th in McAllister, Oklahoma. And I know I said this last week, but to let everybody know, I'm going to be doing a presentation and a demonstration. And we're going to have our candy there. So we'll have a booth too. You figure anything out, Money Pit? Mike went off and back on. No, I'm still getting a double feed. Everything you say and everything I say comes through twice. I don't know why, but it does. That mutes us. Yeah, that mutes us. Well. We're working on both ends here. <laughs> Must be a delay of some kind. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 we'll, we're learning together, that's for sure. This is just our <laughs> third time. I know. I have a delay on my third phone. <clears throat> and uh, we're using StreamYard. If any of y'all are interested, it's we're using the free side of it. There's more things you can do with it other than what we can do if you want to pay. But it's excellent for this kind of stuff. And... Uh, my favorite part is it's free. How about if I jump out and try to come back in and see if it could be in this the double talk? Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Go ahead. It, it is three right there. Yeah. Can and kick, kick from studio. Kick from oh, studio. He did it. Bye, Money Pit. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did it. Um, Dina, where's the comments, babe? What are you doing? There All right, here. so I'm going to announce that there's an announcement coming. If that makes sense. it's I think it's an exciting announcement. I think Dina does too. It's something we've been thinking about for about three years now, two years. And uh, some things are moving, so maybe it's going to happen. So y'all stay tuned for another homesteading type announcement. Yeah, don't announce it yet. No, I'm not going to announce it until we know we got dates and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But we do have <clears throat> a riddle this week. I'm not going to share that today. But I did want to go back and let's talk about that Oakie Home, uh, Oklahoma Homestead Rendezvous. I got I got a few notes I wanted to share with y'all. Pull them up here. And I don't know everybody in here, but here's some of the... Uh, well, it says these are demonstrators and speakers. Simply Country Ranch, Homestead in a Box, I have heard of them. Suburban Sodbuster, Lund Farms, Wild Roots Farmstead, Swinging J Homestead, I have heard of them. Hey, they had some, I think pigs or goats for sale. Yeah, Dina's got goat donkey fever. <laughs> not, not the same animal, but two different animals, goats and donkeys. I said, I got out of the car today and said hello to my imaginary donkey <laughs> She <friend. laughs> did. When we come back from the Footloose Festival, she jumped out and said, hi, goats. Hi, donkey. It ain't there yet. <laughs> Glory Hills Homestead. Hi, Silver Wing. Hi, Silver Wing. Um, Red Feather Farms. 
Shoat Prairie Farm, Bird's Nest Farm, Two Lights Farm, and of course, Dyer Family Farm, and then Farm to Table Direct will be there. <clears throat> and that's that's a preliminary. There's a whole lot more coming, I believe. I don't know what any of those guys are doing except for Dina and I. We uh, we will be setting up our candy, and uh, which is good stuff. If you hadn't tried it, we'll give you a free sample. And if you like hot stuff, we'll give you a jalapeno, make you dance without music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're pretty hot. Or dill pickles and stuff like that. They'll make you cough. Yeah, they'll make you. They'll <laughs> they'll take your breath away a little bit. But anyway, Silverwing, where are you from? May have asked that last week. I got another mosquito buzzing my head. Look, I got a big target, y'all. They find me easier than most people. Um, my talk. I'm going to give a presentation at the, and I'll probably announce this every week or most every week, at the o Oklahoma Homestead. Yeah, he's coming uh, back. Rendezvous. I'm gonna give a presentation on freeze drying. And I do I need to hit this again? He's here. I'm your niece from Texas. Oh, oh. hey, Michelle. Can you hear me now? Tiffany. Tiffany. Welcome, Tiffany. It's good to see you. How's Money Pit now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, sir. I figured it out what I did wrong. It was what me. Was you I do? had you all playing in the background. The YouTube channel was going in the background. And I kept hearing our conversation on YouTube and on this thing, too. <laughs> yes, that'll do it. Well, let me ask a serious question, Donald. You ready? Sure. Did you figure it out or did Lisa? Well, I figured it out. but <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I figured it was Lisa because I know well, when I have a stunt. I told problem. her, but she, she turned around. She's watching it there on the TV to make sure everything looks okay. But she oh, said man. that... Uh, I said, well, you better come back because you're going to be the one figuring this out, not me. And she walked off. So then I figured it out. So, Well, we was Good hoping job. to get her in front of the camera with you. Well, well, you had it. Did you see my short? There she was. I thought she was going to take, boot me out of the channel because she did this with the camera and said she would do the do the <laughs> interviews and stuff. I go, oh, I see how it is. Yeah. She just cut me off. <laughs> Well, I, Tiff, uh, Tiffany says she's driving across the country. You be careful. I seen a, a short of yours the other day when you was driving, girl. That's my big sister's daughter on there. But, Sometimes um, driving nowadays is a little dangerous. You ain't kidding. At least, me. At least on six I sixty five. Oh, crazy it's people on I sixty five. It's not secluded to I sixty five. I it's promise. It's everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. I could be doing less than 80 miles an hour. Speed limit 70. You know, you run on down there between 75, 78, and uh, people sit past me like I'm sitting still. Yeah. I mean, no trouble whatsoever. Just blow past you. And and if you're in the wrong lane, you better move because they'll, they'll run over you. They sure will. That sounds like driving in Texas. Oklahoma City. We cross, we cross the Red River, and I was driving yesterday in Texas. And what I, I was doing, like, 10 over and getting past like I was sitting still. Yeah, it's pitiful. It's, it's crazy. So, Money Pit or Donald, you've got something on your farm that I'm really interested in that you hadn't mentioned yet. What's and that's that? the American breast chicken. Oh, yeah. We got 41 in the in the uh, incubator right now. So, Eggs, you know. You, you have more than the 41, though, right? Oh yeah, I got uh, we got nine hens in the barn that are laying eggs. One rooster with them, and I got um, seven roosters upstairs. I'm gonna kill. And how they're long have you been raising them? Well, for you. can't say kill. I'm, they're going to freezer camp. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We understand you're gonna retire them. Yeah, they're gonna get retired. To my so, belly. how long have you been raising that breed? Mm, I think it's about about a year now. We uh, got the eggs from Dusty Goats and ma mailing them back and forth and stuff like that. And we had a couple of U.S. postal problems and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, um, I bought some. They sent me some to try mailing them. Those ended up turning out perfect. And then we had some mail problems with the the one the other ones. And um, so, yeah, I 
did uh i ended up with i think less than 20 out of those two dozen so it was uh you know it was time of year or whatever i don't know we didn't uh didn't have great success with those but the uh i put seven eggs i when they first start laying i gave them about oh, about a week or so to really get going and when they start you know laying eggs on a regular basis i brought uh seven up here and um uh, candled them they all look like they should have something and uh six of them hatched so i'm kind of hoping the same rate. you know same rate goes with it this here so right that means you're gonna have 39 well i well that's what i hoping for <laughs> i'd kind of like to have 41 Right, yes, right. Yes. I've never had it. I've never had the incubators that uh, in eggs and incubators there. I got everyone hatched. So, yeah, I've had some guys tell me they did, but I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about that. No, we've we never had some have. 90 plus percent hatch rates, but never yeah. 100. Well, and we've hatched a lot of eggs. Is good. Yeah, yeah, it is. And yeah. honestly, it's not in one of these countertop type models that we've got right now. It was in our GQF. That it was, was way good. easier to control humidity and that kind of stuff. A yeah. little, little more detailed. Better the, uh, ones, ones we got, I well, I got six, but we're down to one because I, I, two of them come with the European plugs on them, and I got mixed up, got the cords in the wrong box, whatever, I don't know, but I plugged it in. It was percolating nicely, and then all of a sudden it went up in smoke, so. Oh, no. Anybody know how to fix an incubator that went up in smoke? Let me know. <laughs> uh, I mean, everything's still there, you know, but it's just the wiring went bad. So, yeah, I got five now. They're the, uh, I forget. Well, anyway, they, they'll do 48 at a time, the automatic turners and all that stuff. So they work real good. I like them. At one time, we had them all going in, one, all six ro rocking and rolling. And I was selling chicks, uh, and people were buying them like crazy there for a little bit, for a dollar fifty a bird. And I, was, you know, I was making good money. I, all I had to do is, as soon as they hatched, I'd wait a day, maybe two at the most, and take them with me. And people were buying them like crazy. Yeah, we saw some chick day old chicks last night for seven dollars and fifty cents at Bumgars, which really? is a farm store. Yep, and they were in English Orpingtons. English. Orpingtons, I think that's right. They they look kind of like a spotted Sussex when I looked them up. They're a pretty good looking bird. I don't know if they're worth eight dollars, nearly eight dollars a chick or seven fifty. <laughs> Hi Lisa, <laughs> we're glad you could join us. <laughs> Hi Lisa, we really wanted to see you in front of the camera. <laughs> hey, just because I'm the ugly one in the family, don't you know? I, I didn't say that no, at no. all. So I'm going to give you my formula, Donald. And, and everybody else listening and Tiffany, I'll answer that question about our candy here in just a minute. Um, this is what we used to do. So we would look and find the date of our next uh, chicken awesome. auction where we could sell our chicks and we'd back up 21 days from that date and, or actually 31 cause we'd save eggs for 10 days. All right. That's about as long as you want to save hatching eggs. We'd load them in there with 21 days left to auction. For the next 11 days, we would save cold eggs for refrigeration to sell at that auction. And then the last 10 days, we would save more hatching eggs to reload the, the incubator. But when them chicks hatched, we'd take them straight to auction. You can do that up to three days. They can go without feed. No. You'll never have to feed them chicks, huh? And and they'll sell good, and you can keep a steady flow that way. But you got to know well, when the yeah, well, I, I, yeah. I was waiting to you know I would feed them for like for two days, have them out of the incubator. Once yeah. I got them out of the incubator and everything, they dried off. I put them in a you know like the well we have a pool you know with the one of those kitty pools, a large yeah. one. Put them in that. And then sometimes I take them to the barn. I got some uh, boxes built. You may have seen them on the line on the uh, YouTube yep. channel, but I, I built them and uh, put them in that with one of those. I used to have heat lamps, but I got a little leery of them. But now I got one in plates 
you know, like a heater or whatever. Yeah. It's a little square thing about yay big, you know. Yeah. That's what we that's use. What we use. Warmer, whatever you want to call it. And it they seem to like it a lot better. Well, I'm, Except I'm until, they get, until they get warm enough, they climb on top of it, and now i got to clean them. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know, Donald. Have you seen the ones with the cones on top? Maybe it keep them from getting on top of them. I Not in our that. town. No, I bought right. these at Tractor Supply. We bought ours offline. Well, we bought one from Orsland's before it became Bumgars. Three off Amazon. And three off Amazon. So here's the reason we do that, though. We have a good friend. His house burnt down from one of those heat lamps. The bulb exploded. Oh, really? And it, well, I, I was hearing things about burning this and burning that and people putting them in there with goats and then they would bust or whatever and catch the hay on fire and lose the goats in the barn and all that. So I kind of, that's one reason why I kind of got away from that. Well, he had it in his garage and whatever happened that we really don't know, but they did trace the fire back to that hmm. tub full of fried chicken. Was terrible. It was bad. It was really, really bad. The it's bad thing bad. is, we we heat our house with wood. You know that's why we cut so much wood. And we we at one time we sold some. Uh, I'd like to get back into that again. But anyway, we uh, if something happened and you had a kitchen fire, and you had to do some insurance job or whatever, they mm -hmm. won't let you keep your wood stove. They'll make you take it out, or they won't insure you no more. <laughs> at least around here, they do. That ain't good. In a mobile we, home, somebody with a mobile home, I've, I've seen uh, wood heat in mobile homes and never had a problem with them. But, I mean, I've never lived in it, but I've seen them. And I, uh, they won't insure a mobile home with a with a wood stove in it now. Yeah. My sister that's on here, Billy Gilbert, and myself grew up in a mobile home that had wood heat. Yeah. And Dina, yeah. when we got married, she liked to kill me with that newfangled electric heat. I didn't know what it was like to get up on a cold morning in the house be hot. The only thing I was used to was a floor furnace <laughs> where you could hover over it and oh, get warm. <laughs> hey, my grandmother in Lexington had a, uh, at first it was a gas stove, no, a coal stove. Who's leaving? And the grate was in the floor. And yep. the, then when she, by the time I came around and stuff like that, a little bit later before I really remember it, they changed to a gas uh, uh, stove down there. And the silk had the same grate. You better not walk across that grate. No. It would, oh my God. Your feet would yeah. burn. It would get your, hot. Your socks would disappear on the bottom. Yeah. I've done that too. <laughs> hey, Tamara, <laughs> thanks for joining us. It sounds like you're leaving. Um, no. Donald, let me answer my niece. You probably right. saw my face and had to go. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So my niece asked what kind of candy we sell with our freeze dried business. Our our best seller is ta is uh, uh, Skittles, but we have three different flavors of Skittles. If we only had one flavor of Skittles, I think Dill Pickles would be our second be our best seller. Oh, I Dill Pickles, we, not we Dill sell, Pickles, Skittles. Yeah, yeah. we sell a lot, sell a lot of Dill Pickles, but Skittles well, is not so many Dill Pickles, and they was pretty good. I mean, they Man. they were actually the Dill Pickle. Yep. Yeah, that's a just a hamburger pickle that we buy and, and but if I live close to y'all, I'd probably get foundered on the uh uh saltwater taffy. Oh, saltwater yeah. taffy is oh. probably well, payday candy bar is my favorite, Tiffany, but the saltwater taffy is just pretty hard to beat. Awesome. Randy introduced me to those Skittles and the saltwater taffy, and I don't get me wrong, I like the, the Skittles, but I he stuck that bag in front of me and kept sticking it in front of me, and I like I finally yeah. had to push the bag away. I said, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I told him, I said, you're going to have to close that bag up. I can't eat no more. But, oh, my God, they're so good. They are good. You know, we have repeat customers come looking for us all the time when well, they know where we're going to be. If I get close, you'll be repeat. I'll be repeating. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Wing, you got, you got to try some, girl, because, uh, man, my favorite, like I said, is Payday's. Milk Duds is probably my runner-up, but there's so many different kinds we do that we had to stop expanding. We just did too many kinds. Yeah, I was in Rural King yesterday, and I like, I bet they could put, I bet they could freeze dry this. I was going through the candy aisle. <laughs> <laughs> they had rings that looked like some kind of little orange or whatever, and they big, had worms, big rings, big little rings. gummy worms, and all that stuff. I like. Like, those well, peach rings are popular. We do do those. Peach rings oh, really? are good. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're popular. They are the good. only problem with peach rings is I can't get them to the freeze dryer before Dina eats them. I love peach rings. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we we do a lot of those those gummy. I don't really like doing the gummy worms. No, they got big around the cigar, and then when you go to putting them in them packages, we got it looked like we're cheating people. They're not getting enough in the package, <laughs> and I don't want I don't want anybody to think they got cheated from us. We want to give them a good a good you know mm -hmm. product for their money. Yeah. Peach rings are good though. I got people going around smoking smoking their little gummy worms. Oh, <laughs> Come by you get time. close, girl. Let us know. We will get you some candy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of that gummy worms. A lot of people ask us, you got gummy worms? And the people that wanted them, they didn't care. There was only three gummy worms in one package for $10. Really? Yeah, I mean, it blew my mind. I'm like, that's all we can fit in the package. I'm sorry. No, that's good. And then we used to throw the gigantic peach peach rings. And sometimes they get way too big. We throw them away. And I and I had a guy tell me, no, 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 don't throw them away. I'll buy it. If one fits in the package is all it fit, I'll buy it. So you never know what your customer might want. Yeah. It sounds what? like a dedicated person. Mm-hmm. What's you everybody's need his mailing address? Yeah. Well, we can't. Yeah, we can't mail. It's tough. I would like to, and we can do a little bit, but I don't want a bag of dust to show up where candy used to be because you know how brittle that taffy is. Well, that's one reason we had problem with those hatching eggs and stuff like that. I had the one of the girls over there called me at work one day, and I saw it was a post office, and we're not supposed to be on our phones. So at lunch, I called her back, and I, she goes, you need to get here as quick as you can. I says, I don't get off till 2.30. She said, Lord, I don't know if I can take it. These things are stinky. <laughs> 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 and so uh, one thing led to another, so we got some more eggs stuck back, and she said, uh, she called me up again when those eggs showed up. She goes, these aren't as bad, but uh, I don't believe they all made it. <laughs> Oh, well, it, it's we hadn't. We went through a couple of them. We not bought. A I would rather send. Them. I would rather send or, or receive chicks. You know, yeah. right, right. I mean, at least I know. Well, I mean, I don't think I've ever bought any chicks off of uh, you know, like a hatchery that they all didn't make it. Now, you right. know, later on you might have one or something like that. Right. Or whatever, they, Cornish uh, cross is bad. There. Once yeah, the Cornish Cross is the only ones I've really ever lost chicks in. Yeah. Once you get them through a week or so in the brooder, they start being a little better. But Right. I'm going to give That's you That's why a story. I like to hold them for two days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, once they come out of the incubator, I like holding them for two days. But I kind of like your deal, too. If I can get rid of them that fast, that'd be better. Well, and you're carrying them. Who is that? Road trip. Hi there. Hi, y'all. Tell us where y'all are from. Howdy, howdy, howdy from PSV Odyssey. This is, this is, I think her name's Donna. Am I right? Is it Donna? Is road trips is life. I can't read that last word. My glasses won't focus. Where? Redox. Redox. Road, road trips, life, and redox. I think that's Donna. Yeah, y'all tell us where you're from. We, uh, I was going to tell you, Donald, about our first hatching eggs with uh, American breasts. So first, we buy two dozen of these. They're low, not local, but it's an we hour. We traveled an hour. Hours drive from us. We go pick them up from the farmer, not at the farm, but close to their farm. They met us in a public location. Where's it? Arkansas. Hi, Paul. And uh, and yes, it is Donna. Yeah. Hi, and Paul. so we brought them home, got them in the incubator. Donald, they're like seven dollars an egg. And we candled them. And there was like maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking five hatched. Like fertile. Yeah. There, there was, was like not maybe fertile. not very many fertile. So we, we candled them. We the five hatched. We you know we went through the 21 days and Put those five out in the brooder, and all five of them were dead the next day. 
Oh, no. I've never had a large mass chicken loss. My brooder was clean. I, we The only thing we can think of is our chicken auction was shut down at that time for bird flu. Oh, yeah. Had they come in contact somehow in the mail with a wild bird or something like that. Yeah. Money pits in Kentucky. Now, where was Donna from the road trip's life? She's the one that came by our booth the first year or second year we were there. And she oh, Donna. Yeah. I finally put you together, Donna. I know who you are. You changed your channel. It can see your face. Point. So I can't see your face. There's a dot there. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really have to get right up on it before I can see it, Tulsa. Donna. Yep, Donna's out of Tulsa. So I, I remember who you are now. But and and you probably recognize Donald there, Money Pit Homestead on the screen with us. Don, Donna and Donald. Y'all trying to do a tongue tie or twister with me. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to growing our flock of the American breast, though. Uh, I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to growing ours, too. I told Lisa if we keep doing good on these and stuff like that, I may get rid of my barn lot chickens and just – I have several Premier One uh, nets and just yep. put my uh, American breast in them on grass and just keep collecting them. And got, we got six fences that are 160 – around you know uh, yeah. long we got so, a couple uh, of them. i can put i can put a bunch of birds out there yeah so have you seen donald the uh the little deal they've made to roll them up on what do you mean they've got and i forget what they called it it looks it like a round text it looks like a hubcap a plastic hubcap imagine an old style dish hubcap hubcap got a rod comes up the top with a crank handle the first, the first upright rod, the you know the stake on the bottom fits in a certain spot, and you just roll that thing. That round hubcap glides on the on the ground. It'll roll up. The last, the last post sticks on a certain spot, and you can just pick it up and carry it. Didn't you send it to me? And well, you can roll it right back. That sounds really good. But mine's 160 foot long. I, you know what I found? I can put the forks on the tractor, and I as I take them off. I just feed it on that that rod on the porch, and then when I go to take them off, I just pull them, and they go wherever I want them. That's the easiest way I found to do them because trying to roll them up, I used to try to roll them or or hold them, and then Lisa would take them, you know, pull the pull the rods up, and I by the time I got that 160 foot out there and she we got them all out, I was like, my arms getting tired. <laughs> it's wore yeah. out. If she can figure out what this is, you need to go watch the video because the 160 foot will roll up on it. They showed it. That's a long. Lisa's asking a question here. Hi, Smiley Matthews from Hope, Oklahoma. I asked this last week, but if y'all, you all in the chat has a YouTube channel, list it below and we'll start following. Yes, please. If you do have. Hey, Paul, uh, PSV Odyssey, do you have a channel? Rainy Ridge is in there. They're, they're a good channel. I, I remember watching them. I just I, I looked a while ago and I was already subscribed, Rainy Ridge. And uh, Yeah, we subscribed to him one? last week. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we watch a whole lot of, uh, I don't, I, I try to make comments on every video we watch, but we watch a lot of YouTube at night. You really, there's nothing on TV that you can watch anymore. No. A lot, of you, a lot of you guys that do homesteading, that's that's what we watch because at least you're watching decent TV. All right, Donald, you see that twist butler that and we it's, just? It's on YouTube. Yeah, that's look that, that up on called. YouTube. I can't see the chat on this thing I got going. Lisa's it. That's why Lisa's in the other room on the, so she can see the chat. Okay, oh. well, y'all check that out. If you've got those kind of electric fences, those net fences, that that was pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I seen an off brand when I was looking it up. That one's like seventy five bucks. I think it would be well worth it. But I seen an off brand for like forty five. I don't know if it worked. I would probably go ahead and buy the Premier One just so I knew it worked with my fence. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had cable in. Years. Oh no. 
was Rainy Ridge then. They said they don't watch regular TV anymore either. It's we don't. I, I hey, do. Believe it, you all said you haven't had cable in a while. We've never no. had cable. You know That's, why? They won't bring it to the house. Well, we've had satellite. <laughs> two miles down the road, one one direction, if you go east, two miles down the road, they got it uh, cl that close to the house. No, west, you got it too close. Five miles if you go east towards town. It won't bring it no farther. I asked them why. They said there wasn't enough houses out here. Well, I said, that's, that's all right. I don't need it. That's right. Yeah. We don't either. It's too expensive. We're paying over $150 for satellite TV. I don't miss it. At we, all. Have, uh, we, doing that? we have the T-Mobile, and it'll, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's like three, almost 400 megabytes or whatever that, whatever that signal is when you check it on your, it's yep. three to uh, 350 anyway, all the time. And uh, it's only they they gave us a fifty dollar if we'll have an automatic uh, monthly payment, they'd give it to us for uh, fifty bucks, and it's never went up. We've had a couple years, and yeah. they promised it would never go up. We switched to T-Mobile in January. Good day to all Careless Islanders. Where was Careless Islanders from? Somebody, anybody know them? Looked like they came in and left on us. But yeah, we we switched to T-Mobile this year and it's been good. Mm -hmm. it's been well, we good. had the uh, AT and T cell phone, you know, charges and stuff, and it just kept getting higher, kept getting higher. And uh, there's a bunch of military guys that started a thing called Pure Talk, mm -hmm. and you just dial, you know. It was, so I thought I'd check it out. I listened to Rush Limbaugh, and he was advertising it before he died, and uh, some other guys that took his place they advertised it. And we got three phones now for less than half of what AT and T was charging. Yeah, you know, That's and exactly it was out in Oklahoma. We were we we've been at a lot of places in the United States since we got that down in Florida, all that stuff, and we've never once not had signal. Yeah, it's been good. We like it. We you know I've got some dead spots back in the woods where they have to pop in daylight. Well, there's one spot coming back town, but it it drops. You know, I mean, way down in there. But yeah. if you'll give it a second, it'll pop back up and you'll you got signal again. So we hit a dead zone today traveling to that show we were at. Yeah. Other than that, it's been good. Footloose Festival. That was but that's that funny. Was we we came all the way to Oklahoma. No dead spots. Got back home within two miles of the house. There's that one little dead spot for about two seconds. And then we go to Florida or whatever, same thing. You know, it's funny. So what you're saying is if you need peace and quiet, you go to that dead spot. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Probably well, guys, where I go sometimes. Yeah. We, uh, we're we going to try to keep this to an hour. Last week we went on about two and a half hours total because we had a problem with a light blew up on us and the screen went black and I don't know what all, but anyway – uh, we took a nap. Thank you for your service. You're welcome, Donna. I don't know who you're talking to, but I, yes, you're you're welcome from me and whoever else. Money Pit just subscribed to Rainy Ridge. Good job, Donald. You didn't even know you did that. I didn't. And you can't <laughs> you can't see the chat. I can't see the chat at all. That's okay, though. Should be some way for you to pull it up. But I don't know. Anyway. Lisa, keeps, Lisa keeps me straight anyway. <laughs> the, big, the biggest thing was is I wanted you to know how easy it was to get on here and talk. Well, it, it ain't. Difficult. I'm really not bashful. I mean, you know. No. no <laughs> you, you know what my grandpa would say about you, and he'd say it about me, too. Tiffany, well, you have a good, good night, night too. Tiffany. He said, that boy has been vaccinated with a Victrola needle. <laughs> Some of y'all told me. Lisa told me I'd go out there and talk to one of the trees and tell it when it was born. Oh yeah, <laughs> and have a good long conversation about good it. Good conversation. So, yeah, Rainy Ridge, y'all. Uh, we're glad. What's Rainy Ridge saying there? Wonder what she said. We've done that, or they said we've done that. Wonder what we're going to talk about, and then talk for two and a half hours. Absolutely. What, and I mean, thank you, Money Pit. They say it's it's good. So Rainy Ridge, do you do a regular live? If you do, we'd like to, we'd like to come join y'all. Love you too, Tiffany. Yeah, be careful. 
Keep in touch. If everything works out, we're planning on doing ours tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Tomorrow at 5. Yeah. So everybody that can hear that, try to jump on there and let's let's give them some support. we got 14 people listening. So y'all, uh, Money Pit Homestead, tomorrow at 5. Yeah, I haven't scheduled it yet. I guess I need to do that tonight. It's it's good to I put it short out saying that. Do what? It's good to go ahead and schedule it because that yeah. every other Saturday at seven before chilling with the Gillins. Okay, I didn't I know the Gillums did a chat and then it's the same time as ours, isn't it? We do we're doing every Saturday at eight. It's hard not to not to overlay somebody, but we'll try to join you, Rainy Ridge, an hour before ours. Uh, now next Saturday we might be driving since we're going to try to go to that uh, YouTube meetup at Ten Killer. Right down, right down that money pit's going to do one tomorrow at five. Donald and Lisa. Now Lisa's talking in your video, and Donald is that right? On oh, what the the chat the live? Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be it. I get more views. <laughs> on that short, we already had somebody say, well, she's cute. I'm oh. like, well, yeah, I know. I overmarried. I mean, right. you know, what do you expect? Donna, we're looking to forward to see you there, too. Uh, uh, we really didn't think we could go, but uh, MT's been pushing it hard. MT Homestead, and uh, they're out of McAllister, not too far from us, but well, McAllister probably two and a half hour drive for us. Anyway, we are running a little bit over, and I could keep talking, y'all. I'm not, I'm not, Donald's getting his neck ready for another hour there. Hi, Uncle Joe. We love you, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, Uncle Joe. Stretch <laughs> get stretched out, and we can get after it for another hour. But That's we're right. going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. We thank you all for joining us. And uh, we want, hey, Diane, David, up there in uh, Thanks for the invite. City, Piedmont. Uh, we challenge everybody on here to go be a blessing for somebody else. Yeah. And it's not hard to do and it won't hurt you at all. And we say, God bless you. Money Pit, thanks for joining us. Thanks and, for inviting uh, me. I think I'm going to go crash, to be honest. My eyes are getting heavier and heavier. Enjoyed you too, Rainy Ridge. And uh, we'll try to catch when you said every other Saturday. When's your next one? This Saturday or or Next Saturday. Next Saturday or the one after? We'll wait around for that answer. It's been fun. Thank you, Lisa. You, Lisa's talking for you in there. Don. <laughs> next Saturday. Next Saturday. So Rainy Ridge next Saturday at 7, an they, hour before Gillum or the Dyers. They're hey, going live at the meetup. Rainy's going live. I figured I might try to do a little live at the meetup too, but not on a regular schedule, just, just a clip or something. I'm looking forward to that meetup. We are too, but hey, you guys have a good night. We're going to yep. get out of here. I keep right Good night, y'all. Love oh, y'all. One thing. Yeah. yeah. One thing. Randy told me that when you do your lives and stuff, like sometimes they do it like you would a short. He said, for some reason, when you do those like odd and end little uh, lives, he said they they come up with the uh, YouTube considers them like a short, and that that's better for you. Like when um, you go to the meetup, do do a couple of lives with the uh, with your phone with your you phone know, uh, vertical. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking I'd do. I just take my yeah, you do it and you do it in, like in the morning uh, for your morning uh, weathercast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like your morning weather casting. Redneck weather. Y'all join me in the morning. I'll put one out. <laughs> I got to figure out what the temperature is in, out there in Oklahoma. Hey, somebody somebody uh, commented, said, so it's 72 degrees everywhere? That's awesome. I said, everywhere I'm at, that's what I'll give you the weather for. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good night, all. All right, we'll see y'all yeah. later. See you tomorrow night. Yep. Yep. Sounds good.